Assalamu alaikum. Hope you're all fine. In this video, I'll show you an experiment which demonstrates the basic properties of charges. For this, you require a bottle. You can see, I have filled this bottle with a small amount of water such that it should not move from its place. Then I take one pencil and place it on the bottle this way. Then, one simple question. Is it possible to make this uh, pencil to move without touching it or without shaking the table or without blowing it? The answer is yes, we can do it. For this, uh, I take one straw, then one tissue paper. Now, I rub this straw with a tissue paper like this. Just few rubs. Now I bring the, this straw very close to the pencil. You can see. Now I haven't touched the pencil, but still it is moving. It seems uh, as if there is some sort of attraction between the pencil and the straw. So according to Sir Isaac Newton, to make an object to move. An entity is required. That entity is nothing but force. Now, when I bring this straw near to pencil, you can see it starts moving. That means that there is some force acting between the pencil and the straw. Now, I replace this pencil with the, a chopstick. Let's try. Let's check whether the same thing happens with the, with the straw as well. Now, before Shaking that, I'll rub this straw few times using tissue paper. Now I'll bring it near to this uh, chopstick. You can see even this chopstick, which is larger than pencil, starts moving the similar way. Even here, there is force of attraction between these two, which makes this chop chopstick to move. Very good. Now I'll go for an object which is a little larger than. That chopstick. Let's try whether the same thing happens to this chopstick or not. Then I will try the same. I will bring it near. Yeah, even this one starts moving. Yeah, good. Fine. Now I will replace this stick with a larger one. A large wooden strip. Now let's find out whether this straw can able to move this wooden strip or not. For this I rub the straw with tissue paper for some time. Yeah you can see now this straw can able to move this wooden strip but it requires little more rubbing. Yeah wow wow there is some for some attraction between this straw and the wooden strip. Okay, now let, let, let me tell you what is uh, happening between this, uh, this object placed on the bottle and uh, the straw. Whenever we rub the straw with tissue paper, there is some transfer of charges occur between the objects. The electrons present in tissue paper moves to the straw and the straw becomes negatively charged and the tissue paper becomes positively charged. So here the process of rubbing together actually we call it as charging and the object which has got charged is called as charged. I hope this video is useful. Thanks for watching.